Hi everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this brushed steel effect with some screws. Now, first things first is you don't need any um, technical things to know how to make this. You can make it all in Photoshop, you don't actually need anything out of Photoshop to make this. So, first things first we need to do is go and make a document. And the size document is really up to you, but the bigger is going to look a lot better. So, if I give you the image size that I'm working on is 1600 pixels width and 1133 pixels height. Click OK. And first of all, we want to go to the gradient tool, which is on the left. We're going to click at the top, and you'll probably get this black to white. Uh, I've changed mine to dark grey uh, to white. So, select that. And then once you've done that, click OK. Then we're just going to click and drag like that, and you'll get this effect over the layer. Then we're going to go to Filter. We're going to go to Noise, Add Noise. We're going to go to Amount of 40, and make sure you've got Gaussian and Monochromatic selected. You can put uh, the amount more depending on the grain, and then click OK. Then we're going to go back to Filter. We're going to go to Blur and Motion Blur. I'm going to put the distance to 100 pixels and the angle angle to zero, and then click OK. Now we've got this nice brush still in the middle, but this barcode on the side edges, which we don't actually need. So we're going to go and crop that. So we select the crop tool on the left-hand side, and just crop the middle of it, and double-click. Now we've got a lovely brush still effect. Now it's time to make some screws. Now to do this, we're going to go to the ellipse tool and we're going to hold down the shift key and we're going to make a big button like that double click I just got to turn some effects off like so now we want to go double click that layer and you're going to bring up the gradient overlay uh, layer and you're going to click the overlay and we're going to change the dark so if you have a different color selected here, you want to change it to the darker most edge of the screw right here, which is the dark gray color, and keep to white. Click OK. You want to make sure that style is set to red aisle, and it's set to reverse, and then click OK. Now we're going to make a new blank layer. You can do this by going to the new layer icon on the bottom right hand side by clicking that. And then we're going to change the elliptical tool to rectangle tool. And we're just going to make a fairly long bar like that. We're going to double click that layer. We're going to go to color overlay, turn off the gradient overlay, and change the color to that dark gray. And then we're going to put in an inner, inner shadow, sorry. Now keep the uh, color to black, opticity 75%, angle 30, distance 5, choke 0 and size 5 and then click OK. Then we're going to go and select our move tool and we're going to hit Control and T for free transform and then we're just going to bring in and it should fit in to the edge of the sphere and then click the tick icon like that now it is looking a bit messy but it won't look like that because we're going to scale it down so if we hit uh, control keep a finger on control and then select the two layers of our screw and then right click and then click merge layers and then we're going to hit control and T to free transform and we can scale this down to whatever size we want that size should do and then click the tick icon and move that to the edge. Now, to, if you want to duplicate that screw to put in all four corners, you can do so by hitting Control and J, and that makes another layer. And if you keep your heart, keep and hold your finger on Shift, and you can put it on the same line, and it'll keep on the same line as the other screw, so you'll get a better fit. Control J again, hold down Shift. Control J again, hold down Shift, and bring it to the corner like so. Now, I hope you like this tutorial. 
um, please uh, make it your own now this effect here is quite durable you can change all different colors if you can hit control and U on the actual sheet of metal that we just made and go to colorize and you can change it any color that you want you can even do that with the screws and then just click OK if you want to change that color I'm going to keep it silver because it suits what I'm going to do um, so yeah uh, please make whatever you want out of it and do whatever you feel that you need to do with it and uh, please comment, rate, subscribe and I'll see you next time bye for now